Please stand. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In the waters of baptism, Linda died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. In life, Linda cherished the gospel of Christ. May she now greet him with these words of eternal life. May he now greet her with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Linda receives the sign of the cross. May she now share in Christ's victory over death. Lord Jesus Christ, you loved us unto death. Let this cross be a sign of your love for Linda and for the people you have gathered here today. Together we join in singing number 432, Be Not Afraid, number 432. Blessed are your poor. 
Let us pray. God of mercy, look kindly on your servant Linda, who has set down the burden of her years. As she served you faithfully throughout her life, may you give her the fullness of your peace and joy. We give thanks for the long life of Linda, now caught up in your eternal love. We make our prayer in the name of Jesus, who is our risen Lord, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all peoples. The web that is woven all nations, he will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reapproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. On that day, it will be said, Behold our God to whom we look to save us. This is the Lord for whom we looked. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. My shepherd is the Lord, nothing and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? 
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself, so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. I should offer a special deal today. Who would like to preach? Nobody? I bet all of you have something to say about how God touched you through Linda's life. That's what brings you all here. People don't go to the funeral of a stranger. People go to the funerals of those they love. And that's what brings you all here. People don't give thanks to God for someone's life except when they sense that God has touched their life through the life of the person who has died. And that's what brings you all here. And we don't give flowers for nothing. We give flowers to someone we love to express our love for them. But we can't give flowers to someone who doesn't exist. We can't bring flowers for someone who simply is gone. And so even the flowers that we present today our evidence of our faith and our sense that Linda is alive. Yes. Thank you.
Thank you. And you make my point for me. The reason that we're here is because we love Linda. But that means that we have that first sense that she lives still. And it isn't just something new. It goes all the way back to Isaiah. He said, on the mountain of the Lord of hosts, he would, the Lord would destroy the, e the veil that veils all peoples. And then he goes on and finally he says that it is death that the Lord would destroy. And he would wipe away the tears from all faces. St. Paul, when he wrote to the Romans, he asked them, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? So it's no surprise that we're going to die with him. He says we were indeed buried with him through baptism into death. So that by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. And Jesus said, he is the way and the truth and the life. That he would prepare a place for each of us. Linda lived in an ordinary apartment, not far from here. But we are promised palaces in heaven. She wore humble clothes, but she wears a crown in heaven. And the jewels in that crown are all the acts of charity and all the good words that she shared with people, all the comfort that she shared with us, all the joy, all the vision of the beauty of the world and of one another. All of those testimonies to God's presence and grace, each one, each single act of goodness is now a jewel in her crown. And it isn't just Linda that is promised a place and promised a crown in heaven. God holds out that promise to all of us. And Linda was sent to teach us how to get there, how to love God, how to love his people. So today, we appropriately offer the Eucharist, the word itself means thanksgiving. So we thank God for her life. We thank God for the grace that he shared with us through her and through our tears, which God has promised to wipe away. We thank God for the joy that she shared with us. Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father where he intercedes for us, for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, please stand as we join our prayers to his. In baptism, Linda received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death. We pray, Lord, hear our, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. 
Our sister Linda was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Linda's family and friends seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Linda. Strengthen our hope so that, she may, so that we may live in the expectation of your son's coming. We pray to the Lord. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated now as we prepare the altar. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all his holy church. 
as we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Linda, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him, the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name Hosanna in the highest, in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and his assistant bishops, and all who lead your church. Remember your servant Linda, whom you have called from this world to yourself. 
Grant that she who is united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with St. Ambrose and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please stand. As at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. We still can't hug and shake hands, but would you give one another a sign of the peace we share in Christ? On you stay, quit all this mundi, Miserere nobis. Anius Dei, quit all his peccata mundi. Miserere nobis. Anius Dei, quit all his peccata mundi. Dona eis requiem sempiternam. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For communion, as we do on Sundays, we will come around through the pews to you, so you can stay where you are. And um, we're asked still to please receive in the hand um, anyone who's not Prepare to receive communion today. Just cross your hands uh, like this and we'll know that you'd like a blessing.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that your servant Linda, who has journeyed from this world, may by this sacrifice be cleansed and freed from sin, and so receive the everlasting joys of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I'll give you some instructions now. There's a, um, a reception prepared on the patio outside. Um, 
you come on out, just try to maintain your social distancing even when you're outside, because we're going to have to open our masks to, to eat, so, um, so don't breathe on anybody, okay? Um, or if anybody breathes on you, don't inhale. You've got the pandemic down by now, right? Um, there will be time to tell stories when we're outside, when you go home, when you are with other friends, and when you are alone. We talk about missing someone who dies, but all those moments, all those graces that Linda shared with us are ours forever. We don't lose any of that, but it's up to us to keep it alive, to remember the lessons that we learned from her and keep her goodness as a lamp post to guide us on our way through our lives. Tell the stories. Remember the stories, and thank God for the stories of Linda's life. Because God has chosen to call our sister Linda from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory, for he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. In paradisum de ducante angeli, in tua adventu, Ante martyrex, et perducant te in civitatem sanctam Jerusalem. Chorus angelo. sing to welcome you, and like Lazarus forgotten and poor, you shall have everlasting rest.
when the Israelites escaped from slavery in Egypt to freedom, it was the Lord who led them at night with a column of, of fire and during the day with a column of smoke. And in our incense, we have a column of smoke, and in the Paschal candle, a column of light. But it also says in the book of Revelation that there are angels who offer an offering of incense before the Lord and in heaven. But the incense that the angels use is the prayers of all God's faithful people rising up before the Lord. So we bless Linda's body with that symbol of our prayers and with that symbol of God's presence. And we bless her body with water that remembers the crossing of the Israelites through the Red Sea to freedom as she crosses now from this life to the freedom and glory of life in heaven. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Linda in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual help shine upon her. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Amen. May the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Verses 1 and 4 of number 629. Verses 1 and 4 of Abide With Me, number 629. Shadows 